Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another video. So you guys, here is our grocery haul for the week. All right, y'all, so I went to two stores. I went to Harris Teeter and I went to Food Line to pick up these few things. So at Food Line, I got some bananas. They were pretty cheap, like 37 cents a pound, I think. Eggs. 30 eggs, $6.59. Y'all, I went to Walmart earlier. No, I went to Walmart. That's Walmart. I'm sorry, that's not here. It's here. The 60 count eggs at Walmart were $15 and some change. I had, I couldn't, I'm like, Lord, have mercy. I don't, I'm gonna have to get chickens. Um, these three pound bags of mandarin oranges were like $3.49. I got these for Jackson. And then I got these um, coffee um, filters were $1.79. So I spent at Food Lion for those four items, $13.08. Then I went to Walmart and I picked up a few things. I picked up, uh, this is cabbage. It was 69 cents a pound. I picked up creamy Caesar dressing. That was $1.97. This um, zero sugar coffee mate was like $3 and some change. Picked up two of the unsweetened almond milks for $2.36 each. I picked up some of the Zero Sugar Ready Whip. I can't remember the price on that, but these um, Cool Whip Zero Sugars, I think they were $1.99 or $2.19, somewhere in there. Carolina Red Hots, I didn't see a price for this, but I picked those up. Blueberries were $4 and some change. Raspberries were $5 and some change. And then strawberries were Four dollars and some change butter was right at four dollars and those brown and serve uh sausages were a little bit over six dollars so everything i got at walmart from the cabbage this way was 53 53 dollars i think i have yeah 53 i think i have nine dollars in my purse left so i think i spent 69 dollars no 59 hold on i had a 75 dollar budget <sighs> i have seven dollars in my purse so i spent at least 58 dollars so i spent 40 some at walmart and 13 at food lion so i have seven dollars left in my purse this was all the kids and i could think that we needed as far as need needs um, oh, things I did not pick up. Toilet paper and paper towels. So I was going to try Walgreens or CVS. One of those. If you know uh, who's having a sale this week, y'all just let me know in the comments. But this is kind of what we're doing as far as groceries for this week to add in to what we already have in the house. Um, as far as meals, I'll sit down and talk to you guys or chat about meals uh, in just a sec. Alrighty, you guys. So let's talk meals, right? Um, we have chicken leftover so we have some chicken parts from um saturday's friend supper saturday supper so we're gonna probably do i think we're doing chicken smothered chicken and gravy i think i'm gonna probably do like a vegan gravy a uh, um coconut milk gravy and then i think we're gonna have mash rutabagas I think that's what we're going to do because we have rutabagas from last week. So that's going to be a meal. We do have some sausage that I was able to pick up the other day from Harris Teeter. I got it on a good sale. So I think we're going to have sausage and cabbage. Um, We also have... What else do we have? We have sausage and cabbage. Let me try to think. Of course, on Saturday, we have a chicken... What am I going to make with the chicken? I was thinking about doing the cheesy pasta, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I probably am going to make some greens and maybe some collie rice because we have greens in the um, pantry that we have not used. And we also have collie rice. I may want to do some collie rice grits because I haven't done that. So we may do something like shrimp and grits. I may have to buy some shrimp because I didn't buy any, but we could do the collie rice with shrimp and make shrimp and grits. Come on through, Jesus. Look at the Lord. And he go, He gave me that, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to um, do a reel on that on Facebook, shrimp and grits, but I don't have the shrimp, so I am going to have to get that. 
So that may be an extra purchase, but I have a little bit left in my grocery budget that's in my wallet. I still have to get toilet paper and paper towels, but if I don't get those this week, I can definitely get them next week because it's not a press for those. And then your Instant Pot works as a, press, a pressure cooker, but it also works as a slow cooker. So I'm probably going to do them in the Instant Pot I really like doing them in the in the um, slow cooker. I prefer collie grits in the slow cooker, so maybe I'll do that. What else do I have in there that needs to be eaten? We really only have chicken in there, and sausage is a, is a big thing. We have some chicken salad, because I made chicken salad, so that can be lunches over the next couple of days. And we also have um, um, sandwich meat. And so what we'll do is we'll make little lettuce wraps, because I have some butter lettuce that we, or Boston lettuce that we got from Costco. And then um, Caesar salad. We can do some Caesar salad using spinach, which I have. We have some Parmesan cheese I can grate on top. And then I got some Caesar dressing. So we can have Caesar salads and then we can actually have chicken on the Caesar salad. And then I also have some blue cheese crumbles and I have strawberries. So we can have a strawberry blue cheese salad which would be another thing that does not have to have meat if we don't want to have meat. Um, we also can have loaded rutabagas. I have four big ones. I think I can do some tonight for dinner, and then I can do some a different night for another dinner. So that might work. Um, what else can we do? I'm trying to think right off the top of my head. I think we have a spaghetti squash in there. We also have noodles. We have some of the zero. We have the zero pasta noodles. So what I think we can do is like a cream, uh, I don't want to do cream, but like a um, olive oil garlic sauce, olive oil garlic butter sauce, and we'll just do those in the noodles and we'll find um, some type of meat to go with it or we'll just have it without meat because we're fine. We have sausage. I have Italian sausage. So we can do that, but don't do a cream sauce, right? We're just going to do the olive oil, the garlic, and the um, butter. And then we'll saute up, probably do the um, onion we can do the sausage and then we'll do the noodles, right? We'll go ahead and cook the, uh, the onions and sausage. We'll take those out. We'll put the olive oil, the garlic, the butter in. We'll toss the noodles around to give them a nice um, olive oily flavor, garlicky flavor, and then toss the um, sausage back in. I think that will work very good or very well. Um, so I'm trying to decide if there's anything else. I think those are a couple good meals for right now. Um, one of the things that I did notice today, and I was talking to a friend of mine, just letting her know um, this. I actually stayed below my $75 budget this week, which was good. Right now, I think I'm at about $66 bucks spent. But by the time I go get the shrimp, of course, I'll be right at the $75, I'm sure. But one of the things with groceries that we have to figure out now, because of course, we're not prepping right now. We'll start prepping in our September grocery budgets. One of the things that we have to think about is what do we really need? Do I really need this or am I picking this up because I really want it, right? There's a difference between need and a want. If I need it, it's essential for survival. If I want it, I can do without it, no problem. So those are the spaces that I'm living in these days trying to figure out, do I need this or do I want this? The things that we got this week were needed. The kids need milk. They like it. They drink it. I get two things every week. So I get two milks every week. It works out for them. I don't drink almond milk. I, it's not something I appreciate. If I have to drink milk, I'd prefer it be from a cow. But I've learned to live without it and I'm not um, suffering from not having it. The other thing is, um, you know, you look at what you have and you make do. So with those two chickens that we get, we probably are eating off of those two chickens three meals, if not more. So we'll eat chicken on Saturday because that's when we have Saturday suppers. We'll eat chicken again the next, it'll be Sunday or Monday when I make a chicken salad. And then we're going to take those chicken parts, the legs, the wings that are left from those two chickens. And then we're going to have a chicken meal. It's either going to be barbecue chicken where we put some barbecue sauce on top or like I'm going to do tonight, a smothered chicken in a gravy. So, you know, we're eating off of those meals a couple times. And I may actually even, instead of doing the rutabaga separate, I may just cut them, dice them, put them all in the pan together and let them cook in the gravy with the chicken. Throw it in the oven in a cast iron skillet and live my best life, right? So that may be something that we do. 
Um, you know, it just depends. Going back and looking at the price of groceries, I have to now start looking at what I need versus the things I want. Some things I want, it's just not within the budget. Again, looking at the keto meals, some of your more keto-friendly um, convenience things, items are very expensive. So I may not be able to have those. I may need to eat something different. Or we may not to have may not need to have as many keto snacks as normal. Perfectly fine, whichever way. I just have to make that decision because I'm the one spending the money, right? So the one spending the money has to make the decision as to what it is that we're going to have or not going to have. So anywho, there it is, you guys. Just our groceries and our um, meal plan, kind of a vague meal plan for the week. We'll put it together some type of way and have a, a bunch of meals. It'll all work out. Life is good. Um, we do want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any meal suggestions for us, leave them down in the comment section. We'd be happy to look at them and give them a, t a, a try and see if they fit into our plan. We are here for it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.